It was good. Um, you know, had a bunch of really good looks um, the first series and the first couple of games. So it was nice to get one, even the score for a, a big tie there to get us going. Um, felt real good. Yeah, EJ, speaking of getting going, you guys came out on fire. Um, it seemed like the best start of the playoffs, perhaps. How important was that to start to get going? It was good. I mean, um, we got down again. We were resilient and, um, you know, we just didn't get phased. We knew that we, we stuck to our game, that we were capable of playing that way. And uh, we stuck with it and we got up four to one. And then, um, you know, a couple a couple chintzy calls if they got a couple goals in the power play. And then um, we really grinded in the third, got another one and then um, put it away. So um, really good game from our group start to finish. And I just want to say how proud we are of Nas to go through all that that crap the last couple of days no no person should have to go through that and uh he sure responded yeah i guess just like what was your reaction when you saw that third goal like, you know, you had to it was awesome i felt so good for him um you know imagine being in his situation it just uh it can't it can't be a fun thing uh like i said no no human being should have to receive that type of treatment especially with a hockey game it's just insane and um that being said i think he liked being the villain tonight and he uh he certainly stepped up for us. I mean, he was pretty much, he was pretty much fueled by all this kind of during this game. But one, two, three. I think it looked like it, yeah, for sure. Eric, what's worked for you this playoffs? It seems like you've kind of taken a foot on the button. You don't get many kicks at winning the Stanley Cup, and I think, uh, you know, I'm getting a little older. I'm 34. You never know how many chances you're going to get. So I've just tried to take it to a new level and do anything I can to – to help this team do that. And I'm going to continue to do it until we reach our goal. Darcy, how, how proud are you of the team and happy for Nas to have I mean, yeah, like, like EJ said, we're, uh, we're so proud of them, um, you know, to, to deal with that and then to come out and, and use that as the, the fuel to raise your game and, and play the way he did tonight. You know, he, uh, he was our best player and, uh, we all have his back, and um, you know, there's not a, a single guy that that's not there for him. Yeah, yeah, we were all uh, uh, all proud of him. Everyone, uh, you know, everyone's giving him uh, taps, and uh, um, you know, even before the game, uh, I think uh, we all let him know that that we are there for him, and um, you know. Um, just uh, super happy for him. How, how scary is that? You know, like some they had photos of him standing with police near the tunnel and you guys coming out. From a defense perspective, what is just kind of that like? Uh, yeah, I think it, like Eric said, no one, no one should have to go through that, especially, uh, especially over a hockey game. Um, you know that that's uh, unfortunate that it needed to get to that level and uh, be escalated. Um, uh, obviously, it was um, the police have done a great job of, uh, you know, making sure that uh, he's in good hands and uh, we all have his back. And uh, uh, at the end of the day, we just had to, you know, get our heads around uh, playing hockey. Eric, for either of you, I guess, what were your reactions to Yeah, I mean, I get what they're trying to do. Um, they were trying to get a spark going for their team. Um, and, uh, you know, we're just going to stay out of that stuff. We're going to look the other way. And um, it's not about ego. It's about winning. And uh, if you have to take a punch in the chin or get tackled to, to do that, that's what we're going to do. So um, you just look the other way and you take the power play and you try and go score a goal. How much does the last 24 hours motivate the team and support of the teammate. Yeah, I think we, we always have each other's backs, but when stuff like that happens, you, uh, you know, everyone, Nas knew that, you know, we were with them and the organization was with them. And, you know, you're not going to be fueled more to try and win a game just because of that. We, we have enough fuel, but um, that being said, I think it, Definitely helped motivate Nas a little bit. And I mean, how, how could you script it any better for him? Carson, for you, just that last minute, two minutes they were there when they started the fronts. Uh, what did you kind of see from, from your team? 
Yeah, we had uh, we had good pressure when I was on the wall, uh, you know, trying to prevent them from from setting up and doing what they want to do. And when they did uh, get into their their sets, there uh, we had some huge blocks and um, were able to get the puck out of the zone and and uh, force them to make dumps and um, and then at the end to seal with a, the empty net there was uh, awesome. Last one, you fell that one off the post, kind of in traffic. Uh, yeah, the uh, I think our forward did a really good job of uh, getting in the lane, and uh, I don't think he. I mean, it, it, I think it just got by him and hit the post. So I don't even know if it could have went on that, and then felt it hit me and just uh, tried to fall back on it. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, a great follow-up game. So, you know, I guess I was, uh, you know, needed some fuel and, you know, I was uh, pretty upset, you know, for the last uh, you know, couple of days, but you know, it is what it is. We got the win. That's what we wanted. How much you know about the set pass? What, what, uh, what really set you out? Um, I don't know. I think, uh, you know, starting with their head coach, probably, you know, he, uh, he made some comments that, you know, I wasn't a fan of and I guess he's never heard a bulletin board material. So I don't know what was that, that was about, but like I said, there was a lot of people saying a lot of things and I got to tune it out and, you know, I'll, I'll step up when I have to. What was, I guess, the, the situation with the press and like, how, how did that process work with the negative? Uh, I really wasn't that involved till the police were called. So I guess someone had contacted them about uh, some hateful uh, messages and I was able to read those messages and uh, they're ex very extreme. So, uh, you know, just tried to shake it off and, you know, they did a good job assuring me and, uh, you know, making me feel, uh, feel safe. And, you know, I just had to worry about uh, coming and showing up tonight. When you say racist, are you talking or extreme? Are you talking racist? Yeah, racial, threatening, all that, all that, all that good stuff. Did you hear anything from the crowd tonight along those lines? Uh, no, no, no. And I, you know, I know, you know, they're booing me and, and whatnot, but you know, that's that's what being a fan is. You know, you want uh, as a as a home team and a home player, you want the fans on your side and you know heckling the other team as long as it's uh, you know within the guidelines, right? So I got no issues with that. You know, I know uh, you know what was said. You know, isn't a reflection on every single fan in St. Louis. Um, you know, I understand that, and I want to make that clear. But you know, for those that uh, you know waste their time sending messages like that, you know, feel sorry for them. Did you know the uh, Chief Johnson coming at some point? Yes, great. Well, I mean, I figured you know someone was going to have something to say, but you know that's just stupid penalties. You know that we cashed in on and it hurt them. So you know. Lose your cool, we'll make you pay. Well, of course, of course. That was a resilient win, you know, uh, especially after their uh, push in the second period. You know, they did a great job uh, getting those two power play goals and kind of trying to put some heat on us. But, you know, loved our third period, came out. That's back-to-back -back games now on the road. You know, that's tough to do. That's tough to do and didn't really give them much. So, uh you know, proud of the guys, you know, gritty effort, uh, very pesky, very mature. And, uh, you know, that was excellent. The two, two more guys. Uh, your, your third one goes in, push the lead back to two. Just how good did that feel for you? Oh, amazing. Amazing. Uh, you know, I wanted to come out tonight and, you know, really put a mark on this game, uh, especially after what happened and, you know, I try to do that as best as possible. Sometimes, you know, you, you got to be patient. You got to, you got to wait. Um, you know, was able to strike in this early in the second period, and uh, you know, was able to, uh, you know, get the mojo going in terms of individually and as a team. So, felt amazing, just especially to do it on the road. You know, it was uh, it was pure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I appreciate it. You know, I, I like when fans are engaged in the game and, uh, you know, have something to cheer about. And, 
hey, if you want to boo me, by all means. So, you know, that, that doesn't bother me at all half the time. I don't even notice it. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to continue to you know, worry about my matchup and, you know, take care of business. Get you more Mike in the theater. How much of a victory is this <laughs> not just for you and the team, but just for your heritage and you know, people that get bullied and you know, racist against you guys? How much of a victory is it for like? Yeah, I mean, it's a good message, I think, you know, people need to be aware that this stuff still happens and, uh, you know, it's hurtful, it's hurtful. I know a lot of people don't have to deal with that and they might not uh, understand what it feels like, but people are trying, which which I appreciate. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'm a good hockey player and, you know, I just try to provide for my team and, you know, try to put all that aside. And, uh, you know, I just worry about some people that maybe aren't, you know, some kids that aren't as mentally tough as I am and, you know, I have to, kind of go under through that scrutiny and that criticism and um you know that's why I want to do the best I can to help. Last one Peter. Yeah I wanted to just check it looks like you like nodded at some fans up here. I think it was after your second goal. Mm -hmm. Did you see the um, middle fingers is that what you were nodding at? Oh uh, I think those came after the celly but <laughs> I think those came after but hey I gotta rub it in you know I gotta <laughs> rub it in. It uh, it is what it is and uh we had a great game tonight and I wanted to get on the board and was able to do that. No, no, they can stay here. All right. Hey, let's go. Thoughts on the way Nas responded to booze in just the last few days? Proud of him. I thought he was amazing tonight, especially with what's gone on in the last 48 hours. You know, our talk today and coming into tonight's game was stay focused. We're here to win a hockey game. And, and um, I had felt our guys were ready. And, and the one guy that I was kind of concerned about was Naz. But I mean, I thought he was amazing. Obviously, a, a tremendous game from him, a focus, a discipline. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm proud of him. I'm really proud of the way he's handled the last 48 hours. And to be able to come out and perform like that in a pressure situation is amazing. I don't want to be extreme, but is it safe to say that this is for humanity, that this is a perfect example of good that you and your team have done? Yeah, I mean, you hate to see it because, you know, it's it's not like I read this stuff online and everything. It's, it, it's not St. Louis Blues fans, you know. It, it, it's, it's a couple people that, you know, or more than a couple people that, made the negative comments that we don't like to see and but that's not a that's not a reflection of St. Louis fans. I spent time here as part of the organization. It's, it's just not, you know, but it, it with what happened, you know, you got you know, Naz is a job to do and to be able to stay focused and and to be able to perform like that under the circumstances I thought you know, showed a lot of character and a lot of resolve and just, I mean, he's a, he's a, he's an awesome guy and a tough kid. And, um, he elevated his game at the, at the best time to kind of show everyone what he's made of. And, and, and that's why we're so proud of him as a group, not just myself, our whole organization. What about the team in general? Just uh, it seemed like you guys were prepared to play. Loved our game five on five. Loved it. Yep, right from the drop of the puck. I thought we had a great first period, great second period. You know, we get in penalty trouble. They score a couple of goals in the power play. Things get tight. Things get hairy. We came out right away in the third period and started playing the same way. You know, great, great team game from our guys. What did you, what, I guess, like that positive response or lack of response from Toronto? It's about the same thing we talked about it's not about ego it's not about settling scores as tough as that would have been for him it it's about winning you know you have to make sacrifices and you have to um you know in order to win hockey games you, you have to do it and it's it's no different than you know any other situation where a guy gets a lick on you we're not settling scores it's about it's about winning the hockey game and and uh i think that's what makes the biggest statement you go and you win the game and you suck it up and you know do what you got to do to help everyone else in the room you know get what they want which is a win and no one wants it more than that so i mean that that's why i liked it so, something out of the movie yeah you know, i can't believe this actually happened for him uh, I mean, again, I was just thinking, you know, how proud I was of him just for staying disciplined and playing the game.
Were you surprised that he didn't get a penalty for the two blue shot penalties? No. Not at all. I mean, it's a it's a it's a it's a body contact, and they come right after him with two guys. I mean, the guy, the, he was nowhere near the puck when their guy came after Naz for the first body contact, and then the second guy comes in. It was obvious for me. What was I guess your reaction to that Braun play? And also, I don't know if you saw the replay of the Nazi on it. Tried to chip a little bit there. Yeah. Um, this morning, Baruki didn't really well. He didn't have a comment about the racist stuff that was floating around online and stuff like that. I think he made a mistake by not trying to basically have no comment on the issue at all. Uh, honestly, no. Here's why. Like, I mean, I'm sitting here in front of a mic and lots of times I get asked all kinds of questions that, that you know, people want a response to, but it's not my obligation or Ruby's obligation to to have a comment about every question outside of hockey that the people want to ask us. It's just really not. It's not our player's obligation either, you know. But if you say no comment, everyone's like, "Oh, that's you know they, they get you get a bad reputation." You know, it's a, we're here to coach hockey. Yeah, we talk about life and talk about all the things, and we're certainly in support of Naz and. You know, he they're trying to win a playoff series, so are we. And, and you know, if you asked him off the record sometime, he'd probably say, you know, it's he, he wouldn't have liked the comments or any of that either. But it's it, it, I don't think you're obligated to comment on everything because people want your opinion on it. You know, it's you you can ask doesn't mean I have to answer, you know, no. and, and same thing with him. And, and, and if you want to take the opportunity to speak your mind and and give your feelings on it and opinions on it great and if you don't then it's no comment I, and but people always turn the no comment like that you don't care or that you're not empathetic or and, and I don't think that's true I just think it's it's our option you know it's not part of what made the whole situation kind of bleed beyond the borders of hockey and the game in series well that's what it should be about right I mean this is two great teams playing an unbelievable series and then Naz has to go through that. Like I said this morning, it's unfortunate, it's unnecessary. It, that stuff's outside the game, but we don't control that, what every fan thinks or I mean everyone's got an opinion, you know, they got an opinion on your play, they got an opinion on you as a person, they got an opinion on every incident that happens. It doesn't make it relevant. <laughs> really for me, it doesn't make it relevant. Come on, please guys. I think there are a lot of people Uh, we don't. I haven't heard anything at all. You know, like our focus is within our room. We're moving past it. The, the one guy that has, obviously has to have a, a, a tougher time moving past it is Naz. And I think he proved tonight that he's able to do that. And we're moving on. We're trying to win hockey games. That, you know, that's Naz's focus. You know, he's a big boy. You know, he's, he's a tough guy and he's a resilient guy. And and we're proud of him as a group. And but we're, you know, like we have a we have a task that we're trying to complete, and 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 Naz understands that. And, we're, and you know, it, it's again, it's unfortunate that he has to deal with it, and he knows we're all with him, and that that's what we care about. The opinions of the people in our room and our organization is what we care about. Last couple ones, Peter. Yeah, I know this is a little off topic. Just what went into the decision to just well, we're just watching our play. You know, I felt like knew he's a guy that was hungry and ready to come in and um, just had a feeling that this was a good time to, to put him in the lineup. He played amazing, played amazing. Gets some big assists on a, on a huge goal for us and was solid all, all night long, highly competitive. Do you think with someone like Barkowski is a little bit of a sneaky player, like a mental set? Yeah. Thoughts on uh, on both? I thought he was really good. Yep, skating involved. I thought I thought he was really good tonight. Great, thank you, Jared. Thanks, guys. Yep. Thanks, coach.